Okay, today I'm doing a video mainly on the um, Black Cat JB200 aka JB76 or aka JB76B uh, bass amplifier here in the middle. It's a two piece amplifier. Uh, before I get into that, um, I got a couple other Black Cats here um, laying around and I just wanted to show the uh, physical differences you can tell you know the different cases and you know style that they use but anyway this is a classic uh, JB200 they also call it the JB76 uh, I don't know why they changed the name from a 200 to a 76 but it's called either or depending on when it came out and the <clears throat> JB200 aka JB76 is a two piece two tube um, amplifier with the uh, RF deck that bottom uh, unit there and the base power supply um, looks like that and the RF deck on a JB76B for base has one switch there and the other switch is on the power supply itself so that's the main power switch and that's the standby switch and uh, other than a uh, tuner on the side which is the load like in tune and load um, the tune for uh, black cat amps is fixed meaning it's, just, it's in there but it's not variable at all and over here is a JB76M and the M stands for mobile it's also called some of them are called JB 200 M's and it's basically the same case even though it's different colors they came in different colors over the year but the M has two switches both the power and the standby are on the RF deck and that there piece is the power supply for the mobile uh, JB 76 um, that switches to DC and, and chops it up and it makes that squealing noise which changes the DC to AC and then it uh, you know puts it to a transformer for the high voltage to run the tube so that's the uh, JB76 DC power supply that's the base AC power supply and the heads look the same except for uh, two switches for the mobile one switch for the base. Um, one thing I found out the hard way, actually I didn't find it out, a uh, buddy I is trying to, um, he was trying to um, use the same deck and hook up both the uh, mobile and the base power supply on one and um, so I gave him or loaned him, I don't know, uh, a base power supply and he plugged it in because it's the same plug in the back and uh, he let out the magic smoke so after that I looked into it and they are not wired the same um, you know the RF decks they have different pinouts and I looked even further and many of the um, base units the same units um, you know JB 76's um, they have different pinouts for the um, 8 pin plug in the back um, you know over different eras and different years so you know if you get a separate power supply and a separate RF deck and you just plug it in and turn it on um, it might not be plug and play over here on top we got a um, one piece JB75A here and the JB75A is a one tube you know, one eighty four seventeen, which is um, the high powered version of the six L six used in the tram. Um, all these JB seventy fives, JB seventy six, they use the um, either the eighty four seventeen or the seventy five eighty one, which is another um, high powered version of the six L six. Basically, the same two, just you know, a t tad different. But that's the um, one piece mobile does about 75 peak about 20 dead key or less that's the two piece mobile which does about 200 peak uh, 40 watt dead key or less 
um, if you see the set to line meter that most of them have but not all of them um, that's because you can dial up the dead key a lot higher with these little amps it's got a little variable in the back that's the input tuner here you can dial that that's about a 10 turn um, inductor actually but that goes with the input tuning or matching and you can dial these things up you know the higher than what they're supposed to do you know like again the JB76's should dead key 40 or less but people will dial them up you know 100 watt dead key and you know swing to 300 they're like look at me look go look at me go and then they'll blow them up um, pretty quick uh, they'll blow the transformer or other stuff and uh, then you got a junker on your hand because you know you blow the tranny it's hard to find and it's you know probably not worth fixing um, once you let the magic smoke out of these things and over here just to show the size in the case is the old classic JB12 also the JB12 use a small 6BQ5 um, single uh, final tube and then the JB150 is in an identical case if it's not marked you can't really tell the difference between a JB12 and a JB150 physically from the outside you would have to either see you know if does it have the small little tube or the big tube in it or it needs to be marked somewhere to tell the difference between a JB12 and a 150 a 12 is designed to key like 4 watts or less and swing to about 50 and a JB150 a key 20 and uh, swing about a hundred peak if you got a really good tube in it um, so anyway that's the differences between the black hats you know the um, same case for the JB12 150 and then it uses the same case again for the power supply for the 76 but the um, power supply has one switch on it whereas the JB12 and 150's got the uh, two switches in the meter so anyway gonna set the camera down and get some of this stuff out the way and do a demo on this uh, JB200 uh, aka JB76 base all right quick didn't mean to get long-winded today doo -doo. opening her up and that's the RF deck with the two tubes in it you know uh, key in circuit your tank coil without um, tank coil it does have the Pi circuit but again the uh, tune is fixed and then the load is that variable uh, trimmer cap right there on the load and over here is the inside of the power supply uh, you see the filter caps the uh, four bleeders there um, that over there is the negative bias and this one has uh, those two diodes going around there Let's see if I can zoom in this this thing is live and it's got about 900 volts um, this one's been upgraded to two 5 watt Zener diodes on the negative bias. Um, these amps, especially if you run them too hard, uh, one of the other things that a blow is the negative bias. And if your negative bias, which, you know, uh, tamps it down, it'd be like the water cooler on a turbo. Um, you know, that water cooler go, this thing would run hot, you know, if the bias go and the tubes would cherry and it'd be. Uh, you know pushing out max power with you know little drive and you can't turn it down because um, the bias is gone so that's one of the main things that goes it's a negative bias in them over there that's a uh, resistor that goes to the screen the screen is um, it's like the turbocharger I call it um, that gives this thing um, high gain and lots of swing so anyway we ought to be warmed up we're gonna um, put it on standby and the mud duck radio over here we got hooked up and uh, on a dummy load oh we're on that walk meter hello hello we're dead key in three watts swinging about seven RMS audio 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 might hit 12 watts peak so that's all we're putting into it with the mud duck radio now we're on the 200 watt scale on average we're gonna fire it up and 
saying we're dead keen about 25. Audio, 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 talking about 70. <whistles> Listen to about 130 or so. And again, that's average. And a lot of swing on these babies. And last, we're going to put it on peak. Audio, 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 talking about 190 peak. And again, that's with three watts going into it. And, uh, I could dial up the dead key a little bit more, but um, I like the dead key low anyway. And by the way, if I didn't show it already, that green inductor right there, that's the tuner in the back. Let's see if I can carefully do it because I'm going to turn it off. And there you go. That there is the tuner in the back to dialing up the uh, dead key in or out. So that would be the dead key tuner. Uh, on the left would be the um, load. You tune that for maximum output. You need a small screwdriver adjustment. And make sure you don't um, overwork these things. Don't dial up the watts because you will surely kill them pretty quick. A common problem with the uh, JB12s and 150s especially is that um, people dial them up and they uh, kill the uh, power transformer. On the JB76s, that really doesn't happen that much because it has a circuit breaker. And when you dial it up too much, it'll blow the circuit breaker and it'll save the, um, save the transformer. Anyway, I'm out of juice anyway with the um, camcorder, so that's it for this one. Bye.